Hi, this is Diego from Side Cartridge. In this video, I'm going to show you a new feature of the SAR Cartridge multi device that I think is going to make your life a lot easier. If you have been wanting to transfer your existing Atari ST files, folders, and images to the micro SD card without the hassle of unmounting and removing it from the device, I have great news for you. We have added a new brand new feature to the firmware that allows the SAR cartridge multi device to function as a mass storage device. This means you can now directly access the micro SD card from your computer without any extra steps. So, how does it work? To demonstrate this new feature, let's imagine you have just unboxed a brand new SAR cartridge multi device and we are going to set it up from scratch. First, you will need a micro SD card formatted to either FAT16 or XFAT, following the guidelines available at the link on the screen. You will also need a USB data cable with a micro USB connector, which must be compatible with the Raspberry Pico W. Now, insert the micro SD card into the multi device and connect the Raspberry Pi Pico W to the computer using the USB cable. This computer can be a PC, Mac, Linux, or even another Raspberry Pi. We are assuming here that you have already flashed the firmware onto the Raspberry Pi Pico W, or that your device comes preloaded with the latest firmware. If your firmware version is earlier than 0017, make sure to update it to enable the mass storage feature. Once the Raspberry Pi Pico W powers up, the green LED on the board should remain solid. After a few seconds, your computer will display the name given to the volume in the file explorer. The device can only enter mass storage mode if it's either disconnected from the Atari ST computer or connected to the cartridge port while the Atari ST is powered off. If the device is powered through the Atari ST's cartridge port, mass storage mode will not be available. Now let's set up the folder structure for the multi device. We will create three main folders to organize the files based on the emulation mode. The ROMs folder will store the ROM images for pure cartridge ROM emulation, uh, such as uh, diagnostic cartridges. I'm copying the files with the IMG extension. Next, the floppies folder, which will hold virtual floppy images in ST and MSCA format. I will copy the files with the ST format here. Lastly, the HD folder will contain files and folders for the hard disk drive emulator or gen drive. For this demo, I'm copying several folders that contain more folders and more files. This is the basic configuration to get started with the device. However, there are two additional files that, that, that can make your life easier. The .wifi pass file can store your Wi-Fi password, which is especially helpful if the password is long or difficult to type on your Atari ST. The .rom rescue file can store the name of the ROM image you want to load automatically at boot without user interaction. This feature is especially useful for troubleshooting Atari ST computers without a keyboard using diagnostic ROMs. I will also add an X at the end of both files to prevent them from loading for now. Great, our micro SD card is ready to go. But before you disconnect the USB cable, make sure to safely unmount the volume. Once that's done, you can power off the device. Now you can plug it into the Atari ST's cartridge port, if it is not already. Power it on and enter configurator mode to finish setting up the Wi-Fi. Now you are all set to enjoy your device. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.